Okay, this is Buster, and I'm going to show you how to do a clown clip on your poodle. I've already done his face, his feet, his sanitary. Um, I actually went ahead and did the other side too, and I did his face, which you've all, if you've watched any of my poodle videos or there, maybe the Shih Tzu video too, um, you've already seen how to do some of that stuff. So basically what I'm showing you in this video is how to do the clipping work on the body and the scissor work on the little pom-poms and whereabouts to leave the pom-poms on the legs. So um, on him, I use a number 10 short blade. That's just how his owners like him. And what you do, you start back here where you left the top knot and work your way back. All the way back. The whole body gets the short blade. We'll just go under the belly here. We'll get the rest of that here in just a second. And we lift him up. We go down the leg. Now, you can feel with your hand, no matter how fluffy your dog is, where this is called a hawk back here. It's the, the bend in their little leg back there. And you just, you don't want to go past that when you're clipping. You want to stay just right on it or right above it if you're leaving a palm. Palm, palm. So you work your way down. Stop right here. And if you want to see how to do the top knot, the face, or the feet, um, I'll have another video on feet soon, starring this little guy here himself. And uh, the face is already up, and the top knot is already up under, I believe it was a sweetheart cut that I did on JoJo. So if you're looking for that, watch this. That's how you do the tail. You find Halfway, halfway mark is what I like to do of the actual tail. You find the end of the tail and you go halfway and I shave it same length that I'm using on everything else at a reverse towards the body instead of width. There's a little bit that I missed under here. Okay, now, come here, booger. Bring him over here, take this leg up, and you want to leave in the front, just like you left in the back, you want it to be even across. So, you don't want to go any further than that, you don't want to leave it any higher, you want it to be even. So you, you hold everything down, find your point that you want to stop at. You want to be careful too, because a lot of times dogs will pull their paw back while you're doing this in turn will make you clip further down the leg. So you want to have a good hold of your dog and you can kind of get a feel for when a dog's going to do something, uh, move or you know squirm or try to get away. You can kind of get a feel for that and pull your clipper back before it happens. You may make a mistake or two, <laughs> you know, until you learn the body language of your dog, but if you do it long enough, you'll get to the point where you can tell just when it's going to pull or squirm or plus actually. This guy is really, really good. Little buster dog. Oops. So that didn't turn my clippers off. Okay, once you've got the leg down to where you need it, you lift them up and just like that. You get under the belly. Okay, now I'm going to bring him over here, get his ears out of the way, try to, start right here and gently go down with the front of his chest, okay, so that is basically your clipper work. Okay, I'm going to show you now how to scissor the pom-poms. Uh, you want to make sure that you have all the mats out 
So comb through first, make sure no snags in there anywhere because that's going to mess you up if there are. And what you want to do first is comb everything down. Let me get a stand over here so you get some, some light in there. Comb everything down like that. And then you take your scissors and you want to make sure that the dog holds its foot still. And you just take your scissors and you also want to make your dog keep the face out of the way. And go around the edge where you clip the foot. You want to see that. I'm putting another video up starring this little guy himself just for feet. Try and get out of the way there. It's hard to do at this angle. You just want to scissor all the way around the edge on the bottom there. All the way around. Okay, now that you've done that, you want to fluff everything straight up from the bottom up. And you take scissors and you kind of do a similar thing, go around the top. Cut it all even at one length, holding your scissors flat. Okay, now you want to fluff everything straight out, not up, not down, out. And you can either use, I use both generally, um, scissors and thinning shears. And I just go around the side and I envision a circle, a little ball on his leg. And anything that sticks out past my envisioned ball gets cut off. So you have to kind of use your imagination and just kind of sculpt a ball out of the fur. Lift it up and kind of do the same thing here on the inside of the leg. If you're just starting out, I recommend doing this very slowly because if you make one mistake, it kind of messes up your whole, your whole pom-pom. So, and then after I do it with my scissors, I like to refluff. And anything that I miss with my scissors, I get my thinning shears because they just make a less noticeable, less notable, noticeable snip in the hair. It's not as blunt of a cut, so you can just kind of go along everywhere and just kind of make it look a little more natural and less choppy. Unless you're an expert scissorer, you're not really the best scissor around, so I have to kind of neaten up stuff after I do that. Unless I wanted to spend forever at it, which I don't. So basically that's how you do the front pom-pom. Back pom-pom is basically the same. Comb everything down. Scissor around the bottom. Scissor around the top just a little bit, and then everything gets neatened from the side. Your clown clip on your poodle. You can do this on any poodle you want to do it on, and I showed you how to do a tail also in the sweet Are you one. done, Buster? Are you all done? Were you a good boy? You were. You were a very good boy. Now we can put you on YouTube. Yeah. All right. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.